Hello, this is Andre from the Information Lab, and in this video I'm going to show you how we can use a parameter to swap between sheets. Um, so what is the issue here? Um, the issue is that we have a really nice visual. So we have these awesome looking donuts, uh, but at the same time we want to look at uh, the data that sits uh, behind these, by these uh, donut charts. So as you can see I have this uh, dashboard that already has this uh, filter, so now I can swap between donuts and my data. Um, so let's see how we build this. Um, first of all, uh, this data set is the world indicators data. It's uh, the default data set delivered with Tableau. Um, and I'm going to use the internet usage. So the internet usage is the percentage of people that have internet in a particular country. Um, and I'm going to uh, use donut chart and I want to show the percentage of people that have internet. Um, but in a donut chart we need the full 100% so we first need to make a quick calculation. Um, so we create a calculated field, we call this the um, percentage of uh, no internet, um, which is basically calculation saying 1, which is 100%, minus uh, the internet usage field that's in the data. Um, our calculation is valid, hit apply, OK. So let's see, um, we want to show our, um, the internet usage um, per region. Uh, so let's drag region in the view, uh, select internet usage, but also our um, calculated field which we created called percentage of no internet. Drag this into the view, uh, change the um, aggregation in our measure shelf uh, to an average, and now you can see uh, the uh, percentage, uh, the internet percentage in a particular region in the world. Um, in this data set, I want to filter on the most recent year, so I drag here to the filters, go to years, and select 2012. Cool, so now I have 2012 in the view, and as you can see, um, the internet usage in Europe was, for example, 70%, um, but I want to show this in a um, nice looking donut jar. So, what do I do? Uh, first of all, let's drag measure names into the March shelf, uh, let's get rid of region for the time being. Uh, change the marks from automatic uh, to a pie. Um, cool. Um, now we drag uh, the measure names, um, control or command drag to color, and uh, we also need the um, measure values to be on the angle. Excellent. Um, at the moment we can get rid of the uh, labels because I will uh, not use them in this um, visual. Um, so let's drag measure values out of the view. Excellent. So now I have uh, now I'm showing the um, uh, percentage of people that have no internet and the percentage of people that have internet. Um, the next step will be um, to uh, create a nice donut donut chart donut chart. So what um, a pie chart uh, with a missing hole. So how can we build uh, donut charts in Tableau? Is basically dual accessing a pie chart. Um, so let's um, and make a dual axis pie chart. So we can do that by doing the average of zero and um, duplicating that one. So we have two pie charts. Um, then we need to um, remove the include zero mark um, actually on both uh, axes. Hit OK. Um, then we need to dual axis them. Um, so we're back to one. Um, but we're going to uh, use one for the donut. Uh, what we then need to do is uh, go to format and actually remove some of the. Uh, oops, sorry, we need to go to lines. Yeah, and we need to remove the zero lines because I don't really like them. Uh, excellent. Um, so now you can see we have um, two pie charts, but they're sitting on top of each other. So what we need to do is. Um, um, Measure. Uh, we need to remove the measure names from the uh, from the color. So now you can see, and we need to remove the measure values from angle. Um, now you will see what happens. So if we make this pie chart a little bit smaller, you can see a little hole appears, which is our nice donut. So if we then um, change the color to white and it blends in the background, so now you can see we have the um, we have one um, donut jar. So let's uh, hide the headers. Excellent, let's actually make this one a little bit 
smaller. There we go. Cool. Now we have the um, now we have one donut chart, but we want to have the donut charts per region. Uh, so let's drag region into columns. So now we have all our uh, all our regions in the view and the data set. So let's uh, fit this to my screen. Um, excellent. So now we can uh, see uh, over here. So for example, Africa. Um, the average um, of no internet is like 87%. Um, cool, let's um, also change the uh, colors. So the internet usage needs to stand out, so let's keep that red, change that to uh, grayish. Hit apply. Uh, flip this over. Yeah, cool. Um, let's put region actually into the, into our pie, uh, into the donut chart. Uh, drag region onto label. Um, change the label to put in the middle of the view. Um, change the size to like 16. Excellent. Um, so now we have our um, internet usage by region in the year of 2012. Let's remove the headers over here as well. Um, cool. Um, but now you can you can observe what's going on, but you don't see the underlying uh, data. So let's create a cross tab. So actually, first rename this to a donut. Then right click, duplicate this cross tab. Now tab would automatically generates a um, a new sheet which has our um, um, data. Let's add um, our region header over here. We can take the average of zero, which we use for the dual axis out of the measures value shell. Uh, let's remove it. Yeah. Uh, cool. Um, let's name this to numbers. Um, and here's where actually the fun starts because now uh, we're going to create a parameter. So create pa parameter. And this parameter is going to uh, is going to be used to flip between these donuts and uh, numbers we created. So let's uh, call this um, show data by and let it say in this instance this string. Um, the list and now we type in the sheet names so for example type in donuts and then we type in numbers okay now uh, our parameter shows up use the parameter control and as always we first need a calculation to make a parameter work in Tableau um, so create calculated field and this is a really easy calculation which is just show data by calc um, which basically only contains our parameter, which is show data by. Hit apply. Then um, the second step is to uh, put this calculation show data by into our filters and go to the custom value list. Um, and now we need to add uh, besides donut, also all, and hit apply. Um, do the same for numbers. Drag in the show data by calculation. Um, go to custom value list. Add in uh, numbers, and also add in all again. Hit plus, apply. Now you can see the uh, my view changed. Um, so let's show our parameter control. And now click on numbers, and as you can see, it shows up again. Excellent. Uh, my region had it disappeared again. Okay, let's put that back. Um, cool. Um, so now we have two sheets, a donut and numbers. Um, so let's set the parameter on donuts. And then we want to create a dashboard, and the dashboard needs to um, flip between the donuts and my numbers. So the first thing we have to do is drag in a, um, a container. So it doesn't matter, drag in, for example, a vertical container. Put in the donuts. Um, uh, we can get rid of the legends. Let's get rid of the title, high title. Um, and then also drag in numbers. Uh, put that in the same container. Hide the title. And now, if you uh, let's put a parameter on top. It's a little bit bigger. And now, if you flip to numbers, the numbers will show up. Let's make this fit to the inside of you. And go to donuts and we do the same. I think this is already, yeah, it's already in the inside of you. So now, as you can see, I have my donuts here. Um, 
but I don't have any labels in here. I only see visuals. Uh, and then if I flip to numbers, uh, my numbers show up. So I hope this um, uh, is quite helpful for you. Uh, I hope you learned anything. Um, see you in the next video.